The distributive property of multiplication. The distributive property of multiplication says that a multiplication fact can be broken up into the sum of two other multiplication facts. Let's try an example. 6 times 9. We can break apart 9 into 3 plus 6, 7 plus 2, and 5 plus 4. We're going to use 5 plus 4. We can rewrite this multiplication fact using the sum of 5 plus 4 instead of 9. Next, we multiply 6 by each number inside the parentheses. 6 times 5, 6 times 4. We add the products of each. 30 plus 24 equals 54. Let's make an array to show 6 times 9. 6 tells us the number of rows. 9 tells us the amount of columns. Because we broke up 9 into 5 and 4, we break apart the array into two smaller arrays. One array has 5 columns, and the other array has 4 columns. 6 times 5 equals 30. 6 times 4 equals 24. 30 plus 24 equals 54. Let's use the same multiplication fact, but this time we're going to break apart the 6 instead of the 9. We can break apart the 6 into 2 plus 4 or 3 plus 3. We're going to use 3 plus 3. Multiply each number inside the parentheses by 9. Then add the products. 27 plus 27 equals 54. Let's make an array. The 6 represents the rows, and the 9 represents the columns. Because we broke apart the 6, we can break up the array into two smaller arrays with three rows each. We get two identical arrays. Each array has three rows and nine columns. Three times nine equals 27. 27 plus 27 equals 54. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.